Hello AP Calculus students, this is Ms. Potter and this video is to give you an idea of how to navigate the course uh, using the PACE chart. Now what you see here is AP Calculus AB. Uh, if you are an AP Calculus BC student, it works exactly the same. So uh, there's no difference between the, the setup and the functioning inside, uh, inside the course. So this is one video for all AP Calculus classes. Okay, so the PACE chart is really useful. It's, it makes navigating all of the material that you need to access weekly um, very seamless, very quick. So we can get at the PACE chart by clicking PACE chart here in the left sidebar. And so when I click on the PACE chart, then uh, we get this page, the, this Google Doc that, that, uh, that pops up. And it literally is just a Google Doc. But it, it's organized in a way that it makes it easy for you to check off the things that you, uh, you've already completed and, um, and you can get a quick, really quick view of everything you have to do. Um, so navigating the PACE chart uh, is a five-step process that you do each week. And uh, the exception is week one. It's not, it, it doesn't quite follow the exact same pattern, but it's pretty close. So um, we're really going to kind of actually focus on um, when we kind of start falling into this five-step process. So when we, when we look at this, this first step here says AP Classroom Videos and Topic Questions. So um, one of the things that I do very closely is I really correlate the course very closely with AP Classroom and it's really important for you to get into the classroom and view the videos and try the topic questions so that uh, you can get a really good idea of the AP level type of questioning. So the first thing you want to do is watch the AP Classroom videos. So I have a Google Doc set up here that's a hyperlink inside the PACE chart. And as you can see, it just hyperlinks all the videos in AP Classroom right there in that document. You can see all the hyperlinks in blue. And they're just really short videos. So um, what you'll do is you'll click on those. You'll make sure you're logged into AP Classroom and you'll view those videos. And then um, they'll, they'll have also some what we call topic questions for you to practice and kind of play around with. Um, and it's not graded, but it just, again, it, it's that background information that, that helps you build a foundation prior to attending the live session. So the next thing you do then is you do step two, which is attending the live session. Our live sessions are Monday from two to three. And these live sessions are really an opportunity to dive deeper into the content and um, give you kind of some tricky scenarios. So that background information of having step one done prior to step two is really important. And so when we have our live sessions, we'll record it. And uh, right now this recorded live session is from last year, but I'll update that with our recorded live session when we have it. And then um, after we get done with the live session, you move on to step three. And so step three is looking at um, is looking at the resources in Khan Academy. So that's the other thing that we tie really closely together uh, with AP Classroom. AP Classroom and Khan Academy are like your left hand and your right hand. They're really a set that go together and they are very closely correlated. They support one another really well. And so we have another Google Doc here that, that you can see links in all of the um, Khan Academy resources that you have access to. And the, these resources are a little more optional. It's, it's kind of like things you might need to do if you want more information. So that's kind of how we handle steps one and two and three. Step one, get that foundation, get some basic knowledge, get the taste for the AP level verbiage. Step two, get yourself into the classroom so you can start asking me questions. We can dive deeper. Step three is kind of like if you need additional re re resources and reinforcing of concepts, it's there for you. And then we have step four here. Step four we call a required step. In other words, you have to successfully complete this in order to access step five. And I'll show you what that looks like inside Blackboard in just a minute. 
So step four, if you notice, it has a hyperlink. So what I want you to do is I want you to complete quiz one in Khan Academy. And so when you click on this, it will open up quiz one for you. And then what you want to be sure is you want to make sure you're logged into Khan Academy. And if you're not logged in, then it'll have a login button right up here. It looks like I'm already logged in. It will pop up quiz one for you. And then you can just go ahead and start taking quiz one. Okay. And um, what you want to do is you want to navigate your way through quiz one. And then you want to, as you navigate through quiz one, um, you're going to get a score. And if you notice, it says um, you need a con score of 80% or better. And um, that's going to give you a satisfactory grade in Blackboard. So once you navigate this quiz, and, and I'm, I'm just going to pick randomly here. Um, I, I don't even know. I'm not even reading the questions. Oh, hey, hey I got that one correct. How about that? Uh, but I am not even reading the questions. I am just picking randomly here and skipping it if I get it wrong. Because I, I just want to show you what it's like to get through a quiz and what you see at the end. Um, so let's go ahead and get to the last. Here's the last question. Okay, skip for now. So I get done, and this is telling me how I did on class on this on the uh, quiz. I see that I only got two out of the six correct. Two out of six is a 33%. That's not high enough. So I can go ahead and try again. And the way to try again is just to come back here and click clo close out the Khan Academy, win Khan Academy window. Come back here and click again on the hyperlink. Um, once I do get 80% uh, or higher, what I want to do is I want to screenshot this. So I, I do a, a screenshot of that. And uh, actually, let me, let me do that again. Because if I'm careful about my screenshot and I take it high enough, then I can get my name and the score all in the right shot here. And then I can I, I need that for a visual confirmation that I completed the quiz. Um, I'll explain that a little bit more when we go into the into Blackboard. But once I've passed that quiz with an 80% or higher, I screenshot it, I upload it in the practice assessment in Blackboard, and then um, after I've corrected that, um, the assessment folder will open up and then you can take these assessments. That's your step five for the week. And this is the step five is, is the graded step. So it's the grades on these assessments that determine your grade in the course. So how does this look inside Blackboard? Well, before we start looking at weekly folders, I, I just want to show you your, the grades tab. So in Blackboard right now, I have a student preview um, mode on. And what that means is that Blackboard thinks I'm a student right now. So I'm going to go into my grades, and I'm just going to show you kind of what the grade status looks like right now. So according to the student preview here, it looks like I have taken and passed the Unit 1 Quiz 1. That's the thing I just took a screenshot of. So, so what, I, uh, what, what the student did here is they went into the Lessons tab, they went into week one. They, they took this quiz. They uploaded. So when you take a quiz, it allows you to upload. It won't let it won't it, it's it's it shows that I already uploaded that screenshot and and I it was corrected by the instructor and given a satisfactory grade and so now that I've gotten a satisfactory grade on that quiz the weekly assessment folder opened up and now I can go in and I can complete assessment 1A and assessment 1B. And these are the two assessments you have to complete. Um, and the, these are the grades that determine your grade in the course.
So just to give you an idea, let's look at week two because this student hasn't done anything in week two yet. So if you notice, if you scroll down here to week two, you don't see the assessment folder. And that's because the student hasn't taken quizzes two and three in Khan Academy and it hasn't, they haven't uploaded them into this document. So what the student needs to do at this point is open up this, begin this assessment, and if you notice they have um, two questions, so we can upload quiz two and quiz three from Khan Academy here and here, and then once they upload them, uh, the instructor will correct it and as long as it has 80% or higher for the score on those quizzes, you'll get a satisfactory grade and then that assessment folder will open up for you. So that is um, how to navigate using the PACE chart. Like I said, the PACE chart is, is just a really slick way of, of, getting, of making sure you've got, uh, gotten all the tasks completed for the week and, and also how to navigate the weekly folders in Blackboard. Thank you for watching.